the society organizations and climate activists in Nigeria have called for stronger climate finance funding to achieve adaptation and also mitigation targets. The call for sustainable finance and environmental justice at a two-day Fair Finance School Nigeria workshop organized by the Quest for Growth and Development Foundation and Fair Finance Southern Africa. The workshop aimed to empower activists to drive meaningful change and fair financing in Africa. The essence of this is to empower CSOs, climate activists, climate actors, social activists, and the likes, you know, to be able to deal with financial issues. Because once they hear of finance, you know, they, they trigger. They feel the statistics, they feel the maths, they feel the numbers, they're always scared of it. So we try to do a bit of um, activism, you know, we apply a bit of activism to the, to the discourse. And then assessing finance, climate finance, sometimes is not that easy for the Global South, which is also part of COP29. That discussion will go on for COP29. In fact, COP29 has been nicknamed to be uh, COP of finance. You know. So for that, we want to have this kind of um, uh, workshop to sensitize and conscientize CSUs and climate activists so that by the time some of them that will be going for COP, they will have a better voice, a better position, and even know how to negotiate and engage the Global uh, North that are the major you know, negotiators when they come for, to COP. So that is also part of how we are having this. Dr. Patrick Idoma and Blessing Indova presented on climate uh, finance and human rights in Nigeria. The workshop aimed to equip uh, CSOs with the knowledge on human rights, climate change and finance. As they came out, one over each land expressed concern over oil and gas exploration and in the ecosystems. Truly, policy are deeply governed by value system. If we don't have a value system, we can have principles. And if we don't have principles, we really can't have priority. So sometimes I feel like we are people without priority. So the first thing we are going to do, especially for the young ones, is to see ourselves as money helped us. Should we wake up any day and say, um, our need drive us or our value drive us. You see, when we start changing our orientation from need based to value based, you realize that, that we begin to be more constructive than we're more deconstructive. I think that we need to go back to monitoring our policies because we have those policies and have implementation um, agent. We need to come back to the place of accountability. Section 20 of the 1999 Constitution that talks about the government, um, the, our expectation, our right toward a clean environment. Or these rights are what we know, what we have. But first of all, we have to have an understanding what are these our rights. And when we have an understanding of what are our rights, then we move further. Are the climate, is the climate actually changing? Yes, of us. Is just food scarcity? Yes, of us. Is, there, is, is, is our dignity, is our dignity of life being taken away? Yes, of all. So what do we do about that? So first of all, we have to look, how can we help? How can we impact? How can we call out the persons that we need to call out? But then how can we put it in our quota to ensure that we also keep our, our environment sustainable? Let's all work together to mitigate the effect of our action in Africa. That is what we are doing. We are doing that because we have a Together, representatives from geopolitical zones in the country fostering a united front against climate change and environmental degradation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.